Why is it that the British security services have failed the public by ignoring the country's biggest threats? They've been told for years that a health pandemic, such as an influenza outbreak, is the gravest threat facing the UK. They've also been told for years that climate change is a massive threat facing the UK. But we can't find any evidence that the security services, MI5, MI6 and GCHQ, have substantially worked on these threats, the key threats facing us. Instead, what they've done is focus on Russia and cyber threats. And we've been told that those are the key threats that the British public faces. We should start to increase our resources again that we devote to Russia. What we've discovered at Declassified is that 9 out of 10 former heads of MI5, MI6 and GCHQ since the year 2000 have gone on to work for cyber companies in the private sector. We've also discovered that many heads of agencies go on after they leave service to work for oil and gas companies companies contributing to the climate change threat that they were meant to be addressing when they're in office. We've discovered, for example, that Richard Dearlove, a former head of MI6, has earned over two million pounds from working from a, a US oil and gas company. <laughs> We've discovered that Sir John Sawyers, another former head of MI6, has earned nearly 700,000 pounds for working from BP, the oil giant. Thank you very much. Our priorities have been skewed away from the real threats that the British public faces towards the threats generated and emphasised by the national security establishment, which senior officials then go on to personally profit from. I think this is a scandal. I hope you enjoy reading the article. Let us know what you think about it, and please follow Declassified.